Hey there everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is the first episode of Napoleonic News. It is Monday the 10th of February and the Perrys have just announced that their plastic Austrian cavalry will be available at Salute this year, which I think is in March. So, it's finally come. We've been waiting so long for plastic cavalry that weren't French or British and here they are. The box, as you can see from the photos I'm putting up here, makes all the different types of Austrian heavy cavalry. There is Dragoons, Chevaux Leger, they're the guys in the green coats, and Carazias. And this gives us a wide range of the main cavalry types of the Austrians. Of course, I use Hussars as well, and there's no specific Austrian Hussar set out yet. Hopefully, if the heavy cavalry does well, the Perrys will bring out the lights afterwards. But to be honest, you can probably convert up some Austro-Hungarian cavalry from the French, you need to change the sheepskins into proper uh, sharp cornered shabraks. I'm not really sure, I'm sure there's a technical term for them, I don't know what they are. And maybe the shakos on the head, you could uh, sculpt a band around the top of them, but I don't know, you don't really need to. I think you can probably just do that with paint. Hopefully, the Austrian heavy cavalry will be a good seller for them, and I hope it will be for three reasons. The first reason is that they're actually putting something new out there. For the first time, it's not the two main nations. I say main nations uh, for us British wargamers. It can often be th forgotten that the Austrians and the Russians and the Prussians fought in the Napoleonic Wars. We tend to focus very heavily on British versus French. And there's nothing wrong with that, but as a domestic market, maybe the Austrian cavalry is a little bit of a gamble for the Perrys. And if it does well, then this is the second reason why I hope it does well. Hopefully we'll see more plastic cavalry for different nations. Things like land via lancers for the Prussians or all the Russian heavy cavalry as well. I cannot tell you how excited I would be for Russian heavy cavalry. Even more excited than I am about Austrian cavalry. And trust me, I'm pretty excited about that as well. And the third reason is I really like the fact that the Perrys are still pushing the envelope. The Perrys seem to be the manufacturers who are to beat. And I'll be honest, I'm a huge fan of Black Powder, you know that, but the Warlord are missing a massive trick here, and it really frustrates me. They could have made... They've got a great range of Russian Napoleonic infantry. I think their Russians are better than the Perrys, I honestly do. But they do no cavalry for them. Instead of bringing out French Hussars two years after the Perrys did ones that aren't as good as the Perrys, why not bring out Russian cavalry? So hopefully Warlord will see this, they'll see a successful Kickstarter, uh, sorry, a successful release for the Perrys, and they'll think, oh, maybe we can take a chance on doing our own thing. The same with Victrix, they're bringing out the Polish Lancers, that's great, they can probably be used for Lithuanians as well, for your Austro-Hungarian army, but at the moment I'm just hoping that the Perrys as you can see from the models, they look absolutely fantastic, and I'm hoping that they do really well. The other model, the chap in the tricorn, he is going to be available from Tactica, I think the show is. I've never been there, it's one in Europe. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is, but I thought I'd add it in because it was part of the announcement today. But that's it from this episode of uh, Napoleonic News. Thank you very much, I hope it's something that you've enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you this weekend with a brand new video.